Let's take a look at the instance, the combat tricks that you'll see in M13. We're going to start with uh, common, starting with white. You have bad cards, and then you have divine verdict. Divine verdict is pretty good. Next snap's always been highly playable. It's even better in a set with exalted, because when they attack alone and you kill that creature, uh, that's quite a quite a beating. It also can hit blockers, so if you attack with a big fatty and they jump with multiple creatures, you kill one of them and the rest die because the pile isn't big enough, etc. Uh, I like the card. Erase is not necessarily main deckable, but it is certainly playable. You want one in your sideboard if you're white, maybe even two. Rancor is a huge beating, and this gets rid of Rancor. And then there are a few other enchantments, uh, O-Ring, uh, Pacifism, Mark of the Vampire, Volcanic Strength, etc., all of which are things that you probably want to be able to get rid of. Uh, the now list was probably in order of most need to get rid of the least, but there's still a few things you want to get rid of. Glorious Charge, you should... No, it exists. I'm not sure it's great, but you can get blown out by it if you're not careful. Safe Passage, it's very easy to get blown out by. You, They do an alpha strike, you do a very careful blocking, and then they Safe Passage, and it's you're sad. Uh, remember that it exists. It is playable. And finally, this is White's new um, Giant Growth, and you should probably be aware that it exists. Moving on. Downpour is not great, but I think it's a 23rd card. Um, tap up to three target creatures. They don't stay tapped for an extra turn or anything like this, but it's an instant. It's not a lot of mana. It can certainly tap things down at the beginning of your attack phase. And um, it, it's a can be a bad fog, uh, or it can enable an alpha strike on their side. I'm not sure. I, I'm going to have to play with it a lot more before I'm convinced that it's actually that good. Essence Scatter, again, if you like Counterspell decks, this is great. I mean, it counters most of what gets what's important to play in Limited, namely creatures. Uh, but it depends on whether your style... Uh, is something that supports counters or not. I've seen people go both ways. Hydra Surge is unimportant, unexciting. Unsummon, on the other hand, is still just fine, especially as a way to kill Rancor. You bounce a creature out from under the Rancor while Rancor's on the stack. It's going to be countered by game, uh, and it's not going back in their hand. Uh, you also have the Rings, which put a whole bunch of counters on creatures. And uh, this will shake the counters off. Negate. Uh, I've never been a big fan of playing Negate, although I will sometimes put one in my blue decks. Uh, don't need to say a lot. Negate's been in every set forever. Murder is great. It is better than Doomblade in that it kills any targetable creature. If they don't have X-proof, this will kill it. Uh, I like the fact that it's double black because finally black gets to play with the best black cards as opposed to having everybody grab them and splash them and leaving black very weak. Uh, Vile Rebirth is also a great combat trick. A, you, there's suddenly a 2-2 blocker where there wasn't one before. However, you must have a target creature card in a graveyard in order to cast this. And if there is nothing, it just sits in your hand. I've seen that happen on occasion. Red. Chandra's Fury. I don't know that I'd main deck this. It's kind of a bad lava axe. But against a lot of the exalted decks, a lot of the critical exalted creatures are X1s. And uh, that's always fun to watch them die. Chandra's Fury, not excited. Searing Spear. Uh, it costs one more than Lightning Bolt, but in every other respect, it's Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt was amazing. You took it and you splashed it when you could. This is pretty darn close to Lightning Bolt. Smelt, I think I talked about the rings later on. The rings are important. Uh, 
you may want to smelt if you're red in your sideboard to kill the rings. And Trumpet Blast, I'm not excited about. Moving on. Fog. Moving on. Naturalize. I think the format has enough common and uncommon artifacts and enchantments that you really can really cause problems uh, that it's worthwhile main decking and naturalize. Uh, time will tell, but right now in my green decks, that's what I'm doing. Plummet, uh, I sideboard this. There, the black flyers are not that good. The red flyers are not that good. Um, I'm not quite ready to main deck this, but I like having one in my sideboard for the people who bring in those, the angels decks and so forth. Uh, Sarah's angels, such a beating. Plummet is such a nice answer. Uh, moving on to Serpent's Gift, not if you can avoid it. I hate the artwork. I hate the cards. This is, you know, we're spoiled by having one that gives, for pretty much the same mana, gives Death Touch and Regenerate. This does not regenerate. It's bad. Titanic Growth, on the other hand, is fine. It's a combat trick. It's going to save your dude in combat. Sometimes it gets the last four points in. It's not quite a dude, but it's worth knowing that it exists, and it's something you may have to play around. Reign of Blades is not quite as bad as it looks at first. You can use this uh, as a one-for-one -one removal to kill an awful lot of the exalted creatures with the exalted triggers on the stack. The things do have to be attacking creatures, but the exalted, uh, exalted triggers, which means you can kill the Tormented Soul before it becomes a 3-3 unblockable beater. Rewind. We've played with this one many a time. Okay. Cower in Fear. Uh, man, I have been blown out by this a couple times. Uh, it shrinks a lot of their army. In many cases, it kills a good chunk of theirs, makes all the others bad or smaller, and makes a lot of their what had been trades between bears into a massacre. Um, remember that it exists, and if somebody's got three... Heavy Black Deck has three men up. You might want to worry about this a little bit. And Public Execution does... Uh, really screws up combat. You think you've got this Alpha Strike pretty well blocked, and suddenly your biggest guy is dead, and everything else is not dealing much damage. I really like Public Execution. And finally, uh, Blaze is back. Uh, it's not something that other decks are going to nab anymore and splash for. It's double red, but other than that, it's just a fine card. So, there we have the instance.